20, 2021, where she married her husband. Now, during the this was during pandemic time, so they decided to quarantine together. Now, during this time, gradually she realized that her husband was actually a pathological liar. Since he had told her he had a lot of wealth, but in different countries, and basically made up a lie of who he was and what he achieved in life. He made her all these promises that they're going to buy a house, cars, all of this stuff together once the pandemic stuff's over. So then eventually once, you know, things started cooling off and they were actually looking at houses, uh, some things were not adding up. He did show her some paperwork of him getting a pre-approved for a house loan. But once the process started actually go coming into fruition, that's where a lot of red flags started popping up. Basically, the income wasn't matching, and there was even instances where he was using different social security numbers to fill out paperwork. Now, once she started seeing all these red flags, she decided to run a background check on him, and it turns out that everything he had told her was all fabricated, it was all fake. Even as far as to lie about calling his family regularly, because she had contacted her family once she found out who he was, and uh, they said they cut ties with him a long time ago. So all of these daily phone calls that he would have with his family was just him talking to his, himself or someone else. Now she's from Georgia. I'm not too sure on the law on how to if you can divorce someone from you know fake pretenses or not. But she's currently on the process of doing that. Now, this is the guy she was married, Legion. He has been found. Uh, he actually posted his own statement on the situation, basically calling her a whole liar. No, right there. I know. Mr. El Diablo, bro. Legion. Mr. El Diablo. That's crazy. Yeah. But yeah, man, that was... It was like... I didn't watch all the clips because they're on TikTok. But if you go on YouTube, you could type in... Um, who the blank uh, I marry and it's like seven, seven hours seven hours and she is not like I was asking my wife I was like is she like a you know how somebody could tell a story like have you ever seen Jamie Foxx tell a story about him and Mike Tyson and it's like very appealing right yeah. I happened to watch like a little bit of, I was like this is not appealing why are these people watching this for like <laughs> seven hours like, that's women bro <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're going with. It's women. It's women. I, I, that, is, that is just a story. Story. No. Get like him off the show. All right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, but I mean, it, was, it wasn't appealing to me, but somebody but, else but, it is. So yeah. what, what would you, what's your advice to young ladies? <laughs> How do they avoid legions? Well, well, I, well I, think, I, think, I, think, I think the thing is she got caught up during the pandemic. And mm -hmm. I think that loneliness, that time of, like when you yeah. are in the house or you're like by yourself and you like I just want to compare and it, and it, it, it they would they always say um the that um during the pandemic it made you look at yourself different cuz you're alone and you had to deal with your own person you couldn't go out you couldn't do all that stuff so i think um she ignored red flags because maybe she was lonely honestly yeah. maybe she didn't want to be alone and i think you got to you got to love yourself so much that you can't ignore flags so i thank god i'm from Atlanta bro Cause the, the the first time he was like, "Yeah, I got money, but it's in other counts in other countries." I'm like, I'm like bro. Bro, you, you, clearly, you know scammers. Like, you grew up with scammers. Well, you clearly scammer, bro. Oh, you got you got accounts in another country. Okay, man. Right. Pay Y'all don't y'all don't watch Lifetime like I watch Lifetime. So you don't That's want access to your story. money in the pandemic? Okay. The women don't care. They just want a man. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase. It's Chris Elijah at. Uh, <laughs> hey, he, he has his own web at, series. At one day, Chris Elijah. The views and opinions of Chris Elijah <laughs> are those of Chris Elijah. And Chris Elijah only. Man, but women, bro. man, they they just want a man. Not all women. I don't want to put it like that. But some women just want a male body present. And I think that's what we have here. She knew he wasn't. Nothing. She had to know, bro. She knew, but she like I said, she ran past some different um, flags, and those red flags really just was why like she buying everything, James. <laughs> so I got a question. You, you rich, but how, why am I buying you got all these offshore accounts and I'm buying all the snacks? I bought the pizza. Like, I bought so, the pizza. But <laughs> peep this. <laughs> Imagine how interesting he actually is. Like to her, like if she really stupid, like <laughs> just imagine. She, this dude has pesos. He got quesos. He got <laughs> all. He got yin yin. yang. He got. I ain't never met no man with no yin or no yang. Nah. I, th I think that's a. Oh, he's come special. Up. You think it's a hey, come, it's a come up? He said she's from Georgia too. I'm like, ain't nobody in Decatur <laughs> named Legion. You know what I'm saying? So she's like, yeah, we're not doing boy, his name is Legion. His name <laughs> Lee John. 
<laughs> that's what it was. It's Lee John. He was saying Lee John. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's really, you got to say it fast. <laughs> Legion. Hey, what's going on? I hope you like that video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And make sure you support us on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Trackstars Universe. In the meantime, continue to watch our channel by clicking on this next video right now. Right now.